Okay, so having done our data transfer and secured uh, the route we've just measured into the physical database on the computer system, um, what we might consider doing next is running a um, exception analysis to look at for any uh, changes that may have occurred or any alarms that have been violated. So we're just going to run a quick scan on a Pacific plant location here um, over a date window, latest data within that date window. So let's quickly run that and click OK just down here in the CHP database. Um, let's click OK on that. And in this particular instance, there were no points that shew an exception. Um, so had there have been a, maybe an early warning or an alarm state, then obviously that would have come out on this report. Very quick way to scan many, many, maybe hundreds of points that have been measured to see where we've got changes that have occurred or even alarms that um, have appeared. If we maybe go and turn our attention to the actual data itself that's been collected, um, here is the particular boi boiler feed water pump that we spoke about earlier. And these are the various measurement point locations that were measured across that machine. And you can clearly see um, from the measured criteria that's been assessed at each of the points measured. So this particular customer has a numbering system, uh, location number one, location number two, and so on are on the motor and the different directions horizontally and vertically and actually. We've kind of got a green health indication which obviously is maybe a good situation to be in. If we navigate underneath the machine we can see maybe if we focus on the motor drive in horizontal there are um, they are sorry they are the particular trends that are being assessed the general vibration level here our 1x vibration and so forth there's a number of criteria that we tend to measure as part of a vibration acquisition to look at different parts of the machine's heartbeat and trend those separately underneath the, the measurement point itself we've got, obviously got a mechanism to look at a single trend here obviously going back here to roughly 2010 up to present time um, the speed has been trended, so this machine is, uh, has got a speed trend, obviously the speed changes maybe between surveys, and then we've got different parts of the machine's heartbeat that are being trended separately. If we want to go further because we see a change, we would then turn our attention to the diagnostic data collected here. We've got a, a, a spectrum, a velocity spectrum in millimeters per second, or if you're in the US maybe it's in inches per second and maybe an RMS value is more common for an ISO standard and we've got the time waveform as well from which the, the spectrum is actually born maybe a lot more complex but obviously that's part of the diagnostic information and maybe if we want to do data comparisons we can um, compare spectra um, you know and, and look for pattern change the most recent reading here being at the back and we can see on this particular date comparatively to historical data in front of it, the levels, the patterns are very much um, settled down and not any significant change. So in this particular case, there's no need to do any further diagnostics. All the trends are stable, the health is green. Uh, I guess we're in a good condition on that particular pump. So, okay, so that's a very basic, basic overview of uh, some you know, data that's been captured. Okay, so um, I guess that short introduction has given us an overview of uh, data collection and how we've secured the data um, on the vibration computer system. Um, we've shown how the data was, was secured on there and we've run an exception report, a very basic way to look for abnormalities and changes that may have occurred. And we've shown a basic overview of some, maybe some of the plots that we can look at to assess in a very basic way the general situation with a particular machine. The one obviously we looked at was, was healthy, everything was green and good, and the trends were stable, so nothing to be concerned about in that particular case. So I hope that's been of some help and some value. Thank you.